been a fabulous Thanksgiving we've had so far. Yeah. Great temperatures. I've been yeah. outside all morning long. Yes. Love it. it. Oh, no, it's wonderful. I've seen a lot of people outside today, and for good reason. I mean, the weather is just so nice, and so a lot of people were obviously out running early this morning. It was a little cold start. We did get down into the mid and upper 30s, but we have warmed up pretty quickly. Tomorrow, though, it's going to be a complete change. Yes. I mean, it's going to be chilly. It's not going to be terribly cold, but we're also going to have that north wind. And then this weekend, we've got a storm system on the way, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Of course, we're going to have to watch the roads and parts of the state. We'll talk about that in a moment, but we can always use the moisture, it seems like especially this time of year. It's certainly one of our driest months. Just kind of looking at the latest drought monitor that came out, and a lot really hasn't changed. Still, southwest Oklahoma seeing the most drought. We're also kind of seeing that across northern Osage County, but eventually we're going to change just a little bit later this weekend. So in the meantime, it is gorgeous outside. The Saren Tigers camera put of our Lucky Star Sky Chem Network blue skies. We're already at 61 degrees with a south-southeast wind right now at 16 miles an hour. Temperatures in the upper 50s across the north, but we have low to upper 60s across the south. And we do have a front that is located just to the north and west. So behind it is a north wind with temperatures only in the 40s in the western panhandle. So there's your north wind between about 10 to as much as around 30 miles an hour, while the rest of us have a south wind between about 10 to as much as around 20 miles an hour. And it's going to stay fairly light as we go throughout the afternoon, not really picking up until the front comes through by late tonight. So just kind of looking at the big picture, all of the rain over Texas, that's moving off to the north and east and won't impact Oklahoma. We may see a little bit more cloud covering. In fact, we're already seeing that in far southeast Oklahoma. But our next main storm system, it's going to be coming out of the northwest Pacific and out ahead of it. We already have winter storm warnings, travelers advisories, winter storm watches, and that will likely expand in two parts of at least northwest Oklahoma later this weekend. But if you're doing any traveling nationally, especially on Black Friday, the only problem area is really going to be over the Rockies. So central southern plains are going to be nice and quiet for now. Today, eventually the boundary will start to slowly sink south, but out ahead of it, temperatures still make it into the mid 60s, some upper 60s across southern Oklahoma. And then overnight tonight, eventually here comes the cold front. It's obviously going to be cold by tomorrow morning, dropping into the upper 20s and low 30s across north, but about 35 degrees in Oklahoma City, the upper 30s across the Red River. And then tomorrow afternoon, it will be chilly. It's going to be a north to northeast wind between 10 to 20, a little bit more breeze in western Oklahoma with highs only in the upper 30s and low 40s in the northwest, but the upper 40s in Oklahoma City, the 50s and 60s still, though, across the southern half of the state. So if you are headed to the OU game, it's going to be chilly. You're going to have to bundle up, but we are still expecting kind of a mix of sun and clouds. But again, we're also going to have that northeast wind between 10 to 20. Now, Saturday afternoon, the wind shifts back to the south, at least temporarily. So looking at a high of about 50, here comes the next front behind it. Eventually, that will be, wind will be shifting to the north and temperatures will be much colder. So for Saturday morning, the precip's going to start pretty early. But for the panhandle in far northwest Oklahoma, it's going to be all snow. The tricky areas, the farther south and east you go, we're going to be kind of around that freezing line. But right now, it looks like a pretty good chance of some ice and sleet in parts of northwest Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Saturday afternoon until later in the evening, eventually the rain will move into Oklahoma City. It's going to be warm enough that everything is going to be plain rain, but there's going to be just an area, a small area or a little pocket where we could still see some ice and light rain mix just to the north and west while eventually behind that we're changing over to all snow. Saturday night into Sunday morning, we could see pockets of light ice at least in parts of the western metro, but the road temperatures right now are still so warm that I really don't expect to see much impact out of that. And it would be very, very brief if it did happen anyway. So as far as snow total accumulations and the darker blue, anywhere from two to four, the farther south and east you go, those accumulations will be a little bit less. So from about Woodward to Loga, Arnett, all the way up to Medford, anywhere from one to as much as around three inches. As far as ice is concerned, a glaze for most, but there could be an isolated pocket of maybe up to around a quarter of an inch. As far as sleet totals are concerned, about a trace in northwest Oklahoma. So there could be some slick spots in the northwest Saturday into Sunday morning. But again, we're talking mainly those bridges and overpasses. And by the way, OSU also plays on Saturday and we're expecting a rain and it's going to be cold. Next week generally looks chilly, but overall pretty quiet. We'll be right back.